On April 18, 2006, I had my first confirmed kill. Uh, this man was innocent, and we were all congra congratulated after we had our first kills, and that happened to have been mine. My, C or my company commander personally congratulated me, as he did everyone else in our company. This is the same individual who had stated that whoever gets their first kill by stabbing them to death will get a four-day pass when we return from war. I gave the order for them to use the missiles on the building. So we hit it. And uh, then we stormed into the building. And there was... Uh, there was... Um, two 14... Well, looked but about a 14-year-old kid, a 6-year-old kid, and a young... Uh, maybe a, could have been her husband I couldn't tell because he was so messed up and a woman that was bleeding but not not severely and all she was she was screaming why Laish Laish and um and I I broke down I I, I leaned up against the wall and I as, as my rest of my Marines cleared through the building and I sat there with the corpsman trying to do something about it but I started to cry. I started to cry. I wanted to rip my hair out, what hair I did have, and go nuts. And the woman, seeing my reaction, came up to me and put her hand on my cheek and said, Inshallah, which is God's will. Because these people over there, it doesn't matter what bad things happen to them, that they're will, they'll, 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 they can accept it right away as God's will because they're deeply religious. You know, when I, signed, when, when, when I joined the military, I raised my hand and said that I'll protect the Constitution of the United States and its people and against foreign and domestic enemies. But guess what? I did not raise my hand to protect private companies. When are we going to realize that people fighting in Iraq against us, they're not terrorists, they're soldiers. What would we do if somebody invaded us? I know I will pick up my weapon and fight against them.